The global space race just got a major shakeup. China is on the verge of launching the first satellites for its groundbreaking Goan mega constellation, a bold plan to create a satellite internet network rivaling SpaceX's Starlink. With nearly 13,000 satellites planned, this project isn't just about connectivity. It's about global dominance in space technology and digital infrastructure. Using the powerful Long March 5B rocket, this launch marks the beginning of a new era for China's ambitions in orbit. How will Goong shape the future of internet access and the global space economy? In this video, we'll unpack what the Guawang project is all about and why this moment could mark a turning point in the global space race. China's Guawang mega constellation is an ambitious leap into the future of global connectivity. The name Guawan translates to National Network, and its mission is just as significant as its name suggests. At its core, Guawan aims to create a national satellite internet system, one that connects urban hubs, rural communities, and even remote islands with high-speed broadband. But why does this matter? To understand Guawan's importance, we need to look at the broader picture. Currently, satellite internet is dominated by players like SpaceX's Starlink, with over 5,000 satellites already in orbit. These networks are reshaping how we access the internet, providing connectivity in places where traditional infrastructure fails. Gaowang is China's response, a way to ensure it isn't left behind in this revolution. With plans for nearly 13,000 satellites, Gaowang's scale rivals its competitors and reflects China's determination to lead in this field. This project isn't just about internet access. It's a strategic move to boost China's digital economy, enhance national security, and expand international connectivity. Imagine a farmer in a remote Chinese village using satellite internet to monitor crops with precision farming tools. Picture emergency response teams in disaster zones staying connected when all else fails. Guang isn't just a network, it's a lifeline for the modern age. But how does Guawang stand out in a crowded field of mega-constellations? Unlike smaller regional systems, this project aims for truly global coverage. And it's not starting from scratch. Guawang builds on the legacy of earlier Chinese projects like Hongyan and Hongyun, which laid the groundwork for satellite communications. It also aligns with China's broader digital strategy, positioning the nation as a leader in global technology. As we'll see, the upcoming launch of Gawang satellites is just the beginning of a bold journey. But before we dive into the technical marvels behind this launch, let's explore what makes the Long March 5 rocket such a game changer. The Long March 5B is no ordinary rocket. It's a powerhouse designed to carry some of China's heaviest payloads into orbit. With its towering frame and immense lifting capacity, this rocket has already made history by launching the modules of China's Tiangong space station. But this time, it's embarking on a new mission deploying the first satellites for the Gawang mega constellation. What makes this particular launch so special? For one, the Long March 5B will use a Yuanjiang 2 upper stage for the first time. This addition allows the rocket to deploy multiple satellites into precise orbits, a critical capability for building a mega constellation. Previously, the rocket's missions were more straightforward, like carrying space station modules directly into orbit. Now, it's showcasing a new level of sophistication. But the Long March 5B isn't without controversy. Its earlier missions sparked global concern due to uncontrolled re-entries of its massive first stage. These incidents highlighted a key difference between China's approach and that of companies like SpaceX, which uses reusable rockets and controlled landings. This latest mission, however, promises a safer design, with the first stage expected to end its burn before reaching orbit. The rocket's role in this mission also underscores China's growing ambitions in space. The Long March 5B is just one piece of a larger puzzle. Other rockets, like the Long March 8 and the upcoming Long March 12, are being developed to support the rapid deployment of Guang satellites. Meanwhile, Chinese commercial space companies are racing to build reusable launch systems, aiming to compete with international giants. This launch is not just about getting satellites into orbit. It's about showcasing China's technological prowess and its readiness to lead in the global space economy. With the stage set for Guawang's first deployment, 
Let's take a closer look at what this means for the future of satellite internet and beyond. The Guawang project isn't just a technological feat. It's a glimpse into the future of global connectivity. So what does this mean for the world? Let's start with the immediate impact, satellite internet. Guang promises to deliver high-speed broadband to areas that are currently underserved or completely unconnected. This has the potential to bridge the digital divide, not just in China, but globally. But there's more to this story. Guawang isn't just about internet access, it's a strategic tool for China's economic and geopolitical ambitions. By building its own satellite internet network, China reduces its reliance on foreign systems like Starlink. This independence is crucial, especially in an era where cybersecurity and digital sovereignty are top concerns. Guawang also positions China as a major player in the global satellite broadband market, challenging the dominance of existing networks. The implications extend to space itself. As more satellites are launched, space traffic management becomes a critical issue. Guawang's sheer scale nearly 13,000 satellites raises questions about orbital congestion and the risks of collisions. To address this, China will need to work closely with international organizations and develop advanced technologies for tracking and deconflicting satellites. Economically, the Guawang project is a boost for China's space industry. With over 230 spacecraft launched this year alone, China is breaking records and driving innovation. From satellite manufacturing to launch services, the ripple effects of Guawang will be felt across the space economy. It's also a signal to the world that China is not just catching up, it's setting the pace. Looking ahead, Guawang represents a bold vision for the future. It's about more than just satellites, it's about reshaping how we connect, communicate, and collaborate on a global scale. As China takes its place among the leaders of the space age, the world will be watching closely to see what comes next. The Guawang Mega Constellation is more than a technological milestone. It's a statement of intent. With its first satellite set to launch on the powerful Long March 5B, China is stepping into the spotlight of the global space race. This project promises to redefine satellite internet, expand global connectivity, and position China as a leader in the digital age. As we've seen, Gaowang is a response to growing demand for satellite broadband and a strategic move to secure China's place in the future of technology. Its implications are far-reaching, from economic growth to geopolitical influence, and even the management of our shared space environment. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries. And don't forget to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.